All right, sticking with 2D moments, uh, let's see what happens when, you know, if it gets a little bit uh, trickier. All right, it's a little bit more interesting. All right, moment is force times distance. And so if I could just take that force, multiply it times its perpendicular distance, right? That's kind of a special distance uh, right there. All right, so let's look at this. Let's, let's find the moment about 0 0.0 by this force. All right, so my first instinct right here would be 5 kilonewtons times its perpendicular distance. Now, that 3 is not its perpendicular distance, right? The, the perpendicular distance would be perpendicular to the line of action. Here's the line of action. Uh, it, it might be something like that. There are ways to find that perpendicular distance, but it, it'd be tough, okay? So what we can do, though, is take something like this, and we can maybe break it up into its components. Uh, and I have some options, but uh, generally, my first instinct is to break it up into its X and Y components, and then I think I can visualize that moment arm, that distance, you know, 3 cosine 30, whereas this distance for that one, 3 sine 30. So let's, let me break it up into its two components. Lucky this is just 45 degrees, right? So this would be 5 cosine 45, 5 sine 45. So let's don't do it this way. Let's break it up into two forces and calculate the moment right here. So it would be 5 cosine 45 times a moment arm, uh, the, uh, the perpendicular distance right here to here, 3 sine 30, right? 3, 3 sine 30. Now positive or negative, that would be uh, clockwise, so that would be negative, okay? Uh, and then 5 sine 45, 5 sine 45, uh, and this would be also, or, or sorry, and the moment arm would be 3 cosine 30, right? This distance right here. Perpendicular to, here's my line of action, and so 3 cosine 30 would be perpendicular, and that would also be in the negative k. Add those up. My moment about 0, 0.0, negative 14.5 uh, in the k. Units, got to have units. Force was in kilonewtons. Dimension was in meters. So negative 14.5 kilonewton meters in the k direction. All right, so maybe just break it up into its components. Let's look at this one. Let's break this 400 newton force into 400 cosine 30 and 400 sine 30. You need to be able to do that really uh, quickly and easily. All right, so then the moment about 0, 0.0 would be 400 sine 30 times its moment arm of 0 0.2, creating a positive K moment, right? Because counterclockwise is positive. And then 400 cosine 30 times 0.4 creating a, okay, now this one actually be a negative. It's okay if you one creates a positive moment, one creates a negative moment, that is fine. So here the moment would be negative 98.6 uh, in the K. Units, Newton, meters. Units or Newton, meters. All right, how about this one? Now, my first instinct is to break it up into its X and Y components, uh, and then I would need to find that distance, which is not exactly, hmm, it's not exactly five, you know, sine 30. Uh, they give us this dimension right here. Uh, uh, this is would be tough. That distance right there would be five, Sine 30, uh, there's a 5 that, that'd be tough to find that distance, okay? So let's, let's start over. Let's start over. And I think also, I think it'd be tough to find this perpendicular distance right here. Okay, but what distances, so sometimes instead of looking at the force, maybe it's helpful to look at the distances and how these, maybe these could be my moment arms if I break this into that component 
and that component. All right, does that make sense? All right, generally, well, my first instinct is maybe I can just find the perpendicular distance. My second instinct is breaking it up into X and Y. But how about if I break it up into X and Y, if I kind of, you know, tilt, rotate my head a bit. All right, let's, let's think about this. Because that way, then that would be the moment arm of this one. That would be the moment arm of this one. All right, how can I break it up into these components? I can't just use that 20 degrees. Here's a Z. This is 30 also. So this is a 50 degree angle. All right, so 600 cosine 50, 600 sine 50. All right, so the moment about point O. And look, and be careful, you know, the, the, the moment is at the very bottom and the force is at the very top right here. So the moment about O, the 600 cosine 50 is acting 0.5 away, creating a counterclockwise, so a positive K moment. This 600 sine 50, I think this one's harder to, to see. Yeah, there. Also a, well, its moment arm is five feet right here. Perpendicular distance, perpendicular to the line of action. Uh, and that would also be a positive K. So the moment about O would be, add those two together. 2491 in the positive K units. Force was in pounds. Distance was in feet. 2491 pound feet. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's look at these three forces and break them up to their components and calculate the moment about point A. All right, so I'm going to do this. This will be 250 cosine 30, 250 sine 30. Uh, 300 cosine 60, 300 sine 60. Uh, 500, this would be the three-fifths component. 500, this would be the four-fifths component. All right. So let's calculate these, uh, this moment about A. Moment about A. Let's start with this force right here. Look at it carefully. Goes straight through A. That force goes straight through A. Doesn't contribute to the moment. But 250 Cosine 30 has a perpendicular distance of 2, creating a negative K moment. All right, let's move to the next one. That goes straight through A, but this one, 300 sine 60, uh, does not go straight through it. Uh, it has a moment arm of 5, creating a clockwise, so that would also be a negative K. And this one, I think both of these contribute. So let's start with the 500, the three-fifths component, which would just be 300. Uh, its moment arm is 4, creating a positive K. You see how this would create a counterclockwise, which is positive K. But the 400 uh, component of the force has a moment arm of 5, creating a clockwise, so yeah, negative K. Add those up. The moment about A would be negative 25, 32 in the K, and units, Newton, meters. Units are Newton, meters. All right, uh, but be careful, because, and I'm not trying to trick you, but I'm trying to make you pay attention. Uh, I might say, hey, let's calculate the moment about point B. Let's calculate the moment about point B. All right, well, this one, both components go straight through B, so we don't have to worry about the moment uh, caused by that force. Uh, this one goes straight through it, but this one doesn't, so 300 uh, cosine 60, its moment arm is 4, right, creating a positive 
moment about B. And then this one right here would be 250 cosine 30. It has a moment arm of 3, creating a also positive moment. But then 250 sine 30 would have a moment arm of 4, creating a creating a clockwise, so a negative K moment. Add those up. The moment about point B would be 794.5 in the positive K units, Newton meters. Right? So see, we're just taking every force, breaking it into its components, and then force times perpendicular distance. Force times perpendicular distance. Force times perpendicular distance. And being careful about, hey, is that positive or negative? Positive or negative? Uh, counterclockwise is positive. Right, counterclockwise is positive. 